Hi everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Welcome to our channel. Today I have here a 12 by 16 inch canvas and I'm going to be doing a cloud pour on it. I am doing a voiceover uh, for this video today. Here I'm showing you my base coat which is about 50% Blick Titanium White and about 50% of the um, DecoArt Satin Enamel Pure White and I will show you that um, little jar of the satin enamel there. The balance of my colors I'll go through here also. This is um, DecoArt 24 karat gold, about half, half mixed with Blick gold. And this is uh, Artist Loft Co Metallic Cobalt Blue. This paint is um, the Blick Primary Blue, and I mixed a little bit of that satin enamel with that. And this is the uh, Blick Yellow, and again, I did mix some of the um, satin enamel with that to lighten it up. My last color is Blick Copper. Pouring medium today, two parts Floetrol, one part paint, a squirt of GAC 800, and I did thin with some water for consistency. Okay, everybody, I did lay down my base coat of the, um, the Blick Titanium White in the Satin Enamel, and I wanted to bring you in here to show you how I'm going to layer my cup for this cloud pour. I probably get about, I think it's two layers of each color here starting with that yellow and then I decided to go with the gold here and I'm holding it up a little bit higher because I do want it to, to mix in mix those colors in as good as it can and here's that lighter blue color and then the um, artist loft cobalt blue it's a metallic and I finished that layering process up with the uh, Blick Copper there. I decided that I'm going to put a little bit of my base coat in there too. And then I just go ahead and I repeat the layer again. I would like to thank all of my subscribers and all of my watchers over this past year for sticking with me, um, giving me the support to help my channel grow. I truly appreciate it. If you know of anyone that would also like to watch these videos, please share this video with them then. Here I am just using up some of those paints. And I think I got about eight ounces of paint in this cup here, just about right on eight ounces. And now I'm going to be bringing back that canvas. Into screen so you can see it and I actually do go around and uh, make sure that it, that you can see all of the canvas here as I start to pour. And I did get my inspiration for this cloud pour from Gina DeLuca. Matter of fact, I had purchased Gina DeLuca's cards earlier and I got my color palette from her cards and this pouring idea from her cards also. So if you get a chance, check out Gina's channel. That's Gina DeLuca. Here you can see I'm just pouring this straight down as a straight pour 
and then I get nearer to the um, canvas surface as I finish my pour up here. And if you're not happy with um, how the center turns out, you can always use your skewer like I'm doing here and just fix it up a little bit. And my canvas must not be totally level here because my paint is trying to run off the, far, the one side there. And here I'm just laying down some of my um, paint that I have left over, just like a flow extender, anything to help that paint uh, flow off the canvas. I really do like that really pale yellow color. That's, that is one of my favorite colors there. Just moving that a little bit back into the center, giving it a quick torch here. Bring up any air bubbles. And I really do like this color palette. These, these colors played so well together as you will see at the end of the uh, video. Okay, what I did here is I let this sit a while to see up if, see if any of the uh, the bolder the cloud cells would come through, and uh, I learned that again from Gina DeLuca. She said, "Let your painting sit a while and let those cells develop before you start tipping." And I did add some more of my leftover paint as a flow extender there also. And here as I tip, you can see that I am bringing that paint back into the center, being mindful of what I want to keep and what I want to let flow off of the painting. And I am pretty happy with the amount of gold that showed up. The only thing I think I wish would have shown up a little more was the copper. Some did come through thankfully but I would have liked a little bit more of the copper to come through that uh, copper is my favorite metallic paint to use just still doing a little bit of tipping slowly here just drawing out that paint to see what um, effects I can get You can see me, I, I run my um, fingers underneath the, the edge of the painting quite a bit just to clean it off as I go along. I'm again, trying to bring the weight of the paint back into the center of the canvas there and cleaning it off again with my hands. Here's where I decide I have, still have a little bit too much paint on the canvas and I'm going to run that blue off the bottom there. And again, another reason to really pull, it, pull out the paint, stretch it out. See if I can get some more of those cells to pop up. Trying to get a better look of the corner there. And bringing it back. 
Now I take a look at it here. Clean the bottom off again. Gonna give it a quick torch. And here I'm going to turn the painting around because I think that's the orientation I would hang it on a wall. So I wanted you to see that orientation. And I am going to bring you down for the close-up now. And here we are for our close-up. I'm trying to show you the whole painting. And here is the upper left-hand corner. We'll just go down the left-hand side. Like I said, I really am happy with the way that these colors played together here. A few little cells there. You can see the gold came up quite a bit. That's the lower left corner. And I will take you over the whole painting. A little bit of the copper there came through. And what I mean by boulder cells, I show you a close-up here. That's what the boulder cells look like. Pretty happy with how the middle turned out, too. And some of the copper there. And this is the lower right-hand corner. We'll just go up the right-hand side. And this is the upper right hand corner. So let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up if you like it. Make sure you share it, ring the bell, choose all so you know the next time I do post a new video. And until next time, take care everybody. Bye for now.